Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I want to talk about, I mean, primarily the topics Outriders, but I want to talk about games in general because there is the Division 2 that had this problem as well. And that is the fact that PvE stuff, years ago, you would buy a game, you'd sit there, you'd play it, you'd have fun. Nowadays, it just seems to be so tough to get into matchmaking, it's full of toxicity in pretty much every game you play, even Outriders. People are getting kicked before they're able to get their loot at the end of an expedition. And I've had several conversations with people about how that could be fixed. If they would just remove or disable the kick feature when you were in the final boss area, it stops people AFKing, because if you get like halfway through, they're still at the beginning, you can kick them. If they make it to the boss, you can't kick them, they can get their loot. That would be a simple sort of, and I'd say that's like a common sense sort of fix, in my opinion. But the thing is, even without people kicking other players from groups, it seems as though a lot of games nowadays, you have to be this really high skill leveled player, or you're going to get kicked out of groups. Players seem to be more and more, I'm going to say like an elitist, I was, I was going to say entitled, but an elitist, so you have to be like the best of the best, you need to be esports ready, with them tubs of G Fuel on your like unit next to you or whatever, you've got to have boxes and boxes of the stuff ready to go, and you've basically got to be at championship level to join a lot of groups, when that really shouldn't be the case, you don't have to be the best in the world at a game, you've just got to load it up and enjoy it, Games were created originally for entertainment. You're supposed to be able to play these games and sit there and have fun and interact with your friends and make new friends like through Xbox Live and PSN and all that sort of stuff. Like there's social like networks and platforms because you're supposed to interact with other players and you just get these people that are so stuck in their own ways. I, I do actually understand it, because, like, partially, because when the first raid for the Division 2 come out, you had to have such a high, like, DPS or, like, damage to elites percentage, because it was all DPS checks. But not everyone is in the game to do the best. People are just there to play and have some fun. Raids, it's a lot more understandable, because it's really, really challenging content. It's, like, the toughest thing they ever put into the game. But in terms of expeditions, people are trying to run anomaly builds, there's people now running melee builds, I'm being abused in the comments from people, someone was like, oh, as if it's not bad enough to sit there and listen to your voice, I'm also having to watch you run through an expedition as a devastator that's using, like, weapons, that's shooting guns, you're supposed to have this anomaly power build, who are you to tell me how to play the game that I've purchased? Or, like, Game Pass, I pay for the subscription still, whatever, not talking about that, but basically any game, I've paid for it, or I've at least obtained the license to play the game, so I'm able to play, and I should be able to play my own way. I just want to pop in quickly here, because I'm listening back to the video as I'm editing it, and it does sound as though I'm saying, don't ever try putting, like, tips forward. And I'm saying this because of my live streams, I've had people saying, oh, why don't you try this, why don't you try that? That's totally acceptable. If you put out tips and things that, like, you give people advice on what's worked for you in the game, that's totally acceptable. My point is when someone comes and, in an abusive manner, tells you, you have to be doing this, you have to be doing that. That's what I don't agree with. The fact that people are trying to matchmake, being kicked out of a group in Outriders, that's all because they don't have this DPS-focused firepower, really quick to run through expedition build. So just wanted to clear that up. I don't want anyone to feel bad that ever tries giving tips or helping people out, especially me, during my live streams and stuff. This is aimed at the people that are trying to be demanding with it and telling you this is how you play the game that you've decided to play, not the way you want to play it. So anyway, back to the video. How dare you sit there and try telling me how I need to play a game? If I want to run through with a Devastator using guns, it's my game to play the way I want to play it. The fact that this person was so like, you have to do this, how dare you show me video footage of you using guns, you need to be using, they actually specifically said, you need to be using double earthquakes every six seconds with impale and gravity leap. The only one of those three I actually use is earthquake, because I use golem to protect myself, and I use tremor to deal damage whilst leeching off the enemies to get life back for myself. I mainly play solo because I don't trust the multiplayer in Outriders, but 
For someone to sit there and specifically say, you need to do this, you need to do that, how dare you show me a video of you doing something else? It's just funny, because how dare you try telling me how to play my game? I don't care if all these people are making these overpowered builds and, oh, you've got to run the death shield shotgun, it's the best in slot. I don't care. I'm going to run whatever I want to run. If I'm playing the game solo, I'm going to have fun doing it. If I'm playing in a group, if you don't like it, then lump it. I don't care. I'm playing the game the way I want to play it. People just sit there and they expect far too much from other players. Not everyone is trying to be this professional esports gamer. Some people do still, well, a lot of people do still just buy games to have fun on the game. And that's partially why so many people get annoyed with the way I am towards games, because I'm constantly criticising, but that's not because I hate the game, that's because I have a passion for games and I love playing the games I play. Yes, I do thoroughly enjoy Outriders, but I'm not going to accept the issues it has, especially after five years of development, three delays, and a month of an online demo, and they still can't fix their servers, they haven't fixed the inventory wipes, or anything like that. I'm going to get annoyed and I'm going to bring them problems up to try and save people money and stop them going through the hassle that other players have to go through, that I have to go through. I do it to help other people out, I, that's why I moan and you get people all the time, the only response they ever have to like my videos and stuff is, oh why don't you just leave the game then, oh this community don't need you. The reason I haven't left is because I'm not going to abandon it, I like the game, I want it to be better, it's, it's simple, I don't know why people don't understand it. But a lot of people nowadays are entitled. They just seem to think that you have to push and do the hardest stuff in every game or you're not this gamer that you're supposed to be. And just another quick interruption, I will let you actually get to the video and watch it in a moment. Looking at this part of the video, I had another comment and it literally just sprung into mind as I was editing this part. Someone actually said to me, why are you not running Challenge Tier 15? You need to be, like, because you're on Challenge Tier 12, I don't trust anything you say, you're not this great person. Literally, because I run all these different Challenge Tiers to get footage, and it's going to be a lot more time-consuming getting the footage if I'm trying to push 12 and 13, the 13 is my max at the moment. Sometimes you'll see older gameplay before I'd ever cleared a certain tier. Sometimes I'll whack it on tier 6 just to breeze through it. There's all these different things, but I've literally had like quite a few comments now. I was going to say so many, but I've had quite a few now of people saying, you need to do this, you need to do that. And someone actually said to me, you have to push tier 15. Like You need to be playing tier 15 in these videos. No, I don't. My game, I play the way I want to play. But anyway, I'm not going to interrupt anymore, even if there is another thing that springs to mind. I'll let you get back to the video. Enjoy. I don't care if I'm playing Challenge Tier 15 and Expeditions on Outriders or if I'm playing Challenge Tier 1. Whatever I fancy doing at the time, whatever my friends fancy doing, I'll go and do it. As long as it's fun and as long as I at least, like, even if I'm not having loads of fun, at least if I enjoy it, I'm happy to go do it. Like, if, for an example, if Pete and Lewis were still playing Outriders with me, if they wanted to go... Like, let's say I was like, oh, I'm farming through expeditions trying to build up the tier and we were doing expedition runs and they were getting annoyed with it and they was like, oh, can we please go and do some hunts and stuff? I'm not going to say, no, you've got to do expeditions. This is how you get through to the end game. There's absolutely no point doing this stuff. I'm not doing it. If you want to go do it, you go and do it yourself. I'm not playing with you. I'm not going to do all that. I'll just say, like, right now, I don't fancy it. You two can go do whatever you want to do, or I'll even come join you and do some hunts, and I'll take a break from expeditions. You don't have to rush through. I haven't even sat there and put time in to push to 15, because I can't be bothered. I'm taking my time with the game, doing my own thing, and people need to understand there are other people in the world that like doing that too. It's okay for... I'm a content creator. A lot of times, like, a lot of time is on my hands. I can sit there and play games for 12, 16 hours a day, whatever. But it doesn't mean I have to push through all of the content. A lot of the time, yes, I get through the entire lot. I start to get bored because I burn myself out on it. But sometimes there is the odd game or two or whatever where I just want to chill and do my own thing. So I'm not a tier 15. So what? It's my time on my game that I'm choosing to spend and how to spend it. People need to understand, you are not this amazing gamer. You are not going to get an esports championship million dollar prize pool fucking tournament from sitting there grinding expeditions and getting good builds on Outriders. It's not going to happen. Just let people enjoy the games that they have decided to play and do it in their own way. There is nothing wrong with that at all. If people decide they want to go and play through the story again, 
They want to play the story of the easiest difficulty. Let them do it. That's absolutely nothing to do with you. That's how they've chosen to play their game. I'm seeing comments all the time. Oh, if I ever see a Devastator in my group, they're getting kicked out. They're not outputting as much damage as my Technomancer fucking long-range sniper build that heals for 65 million health every time I shoot. It doesn't work like that. People have their own ways of playing games. And I'm going to say it one more time before I wrap up the video. It's not going to get you anywhere pushing for top-tier expeditions. Just like playing Call of Duty, sitting there sweating and getting a 3KD isn't going to get you into a COD esports team. Yeah, it might mean you're good at the game. So what? Some people don't play to be good at the game. Some people play just to have fun. And on that note, we're going to leave the video there. Let me know your thoughts and stuff about this topic in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed it.